Humans, this is Dr. Kai, and in case you haven't noticed, I've got my mojo back and I am back. I'm playing Elite Dangerous a lot more, I'm making more videos, there's been some quite recently. And I'm working extremely hard on Elite Dangerous Profiler, which is a tool I made, my pride and joy. It's a tool, in case you don't know, that lets you create combinations of settings, save them to profiles and apply them to the game before you start the game. That way you can, for example, have ones for different ships, ones for different types of graphics, like if you're a streamer and you have certain settings for streaming, if you want to play in really high quality because you're exploring, or you want to lower it a bit because you're within stations, if you want to have a VR profile, 2D profile, you know it, you've seen it, and in case you haven't, there is a video that covers this all in a lot of detail. Don't forget, you can also create your own custom HUD profiles. I'm very proud of that, it even shows you what the avatars are going to look like. Anyway, I have added a couple of things since then. I've already made a video about tone mapping and that is also linked in the description. Edit! I forgot to mention that now in tone mapping you can double click this window here and you get a nice large version of your changes. Uh, this is actually a 1080p image which could be resized. Um, it will take on whatever HUD brightness and gamma you've got, at least rounded to the top, middle or bottom. That was for 3.1, we're now on 3.2 and there are a whole bunch of new things added. Two in particular that I want to talk about in this video. But before we talk about them, I just want to point out that I've added a whole bunch of fixes as well. There are all kinds of weird things going on, like you couldn't save to an existing profile. This would always default to the top one, it wouldn't necessarily apply. There was all kinds of bugs. And I've also added two new awesome features, as well as combined two of my previous tools into this. The chat logs tool, which I use, for example, the live chat detection when someone sends me a system to copy or a website to copy. I can actually copy it here and paste it or I can review my old chat logs. Also there's this, which there's a video for, again in the description. New, this time around, is Commander's Log. Now I made this tool to solve one particular problem that I found it very hard to make notes when in VR. A lot of people use Captain's Log or ED Discovery to make their notes per jump, per system, whatever it is. Um, for people that play in VR or other types of people that don't like to all tab out of the game for whatever reason, I've made this tool to let you still be able to make notes without even having to alt tab out of the game. That's how powerful it is. Everything you type in local chat gets converted into a very nice, neat, beautiful log. This is one I made. So let's just scroll out a bit. I was in this stunning system called 9 Feist 2 Seti, which has an ELW paired with a gas giant. And it was so stunning that I actually had to write something and I wrote this, then take a couple of screenshots and I also did some tests. What this tool does, again, is to capture what you type in local chat. You can with it, constrain it with the log prefix. In fact, let me just show you. So I'm going to tick, I'm going to set the 2D profile, which has my default tone map. Actually, let's change that. Let's put that to something cool like, I don't know, graphic novel. It's my 2D settings. So now when I hit apply, the game will start in 2D. And if I tick this, which I always do when I'm in 2D, it will launch the launcher with the no VR command that will prevent Steam VR, Oculus from starting, the Oculus services from starting if you've got VR installed. Okay, so we're in game now, and I've already done some testing, but ignore that. I forgot to open commander's log, so don't worry, we've got a trick. We type in start log, which is like a console command. Listen, you hear that? That means it's now open. So if we go back here, you should find it is open now. Uh, so we're going to pin it, so it stays on top for the purpose of this video. Now whatever we type here, as I did before, hello humans, it will now work out where we are and put that into the log file or create it if necessary and then create this log here. Um, that is exactly how it works. If I take a screenshot now, if I do F10 and obviously a screenshot is ticked, then you get a nice screenshot which it also gives you a preview of. You can click that to get the full size version. And if you want to further edit this, you can right click over there, pop out, and you get your own little editor for it. Just remember that this one will get overwritten by that one if this one changes while that one's open, so just bear that in mind. And then, using that, you can come up with lovely little logs like this, or the example system that I include. This is, for example, when I first came to Sirius, I made this on the forums and I made it into a log here just to demonstrate. It's got loads of really cool features, and you can also change the location, you can change how you sort, you can filter by profile, so everything that has an H is now filtered, or inside, I wrote humans, I think it's only one, so if I filter by human, only Barnard Star is gonna show. You can right click them here, delete them, merge them, you can merge two, by the way, so for example, 
click merge, those will all merge. There's many more features. Click the help button and you will learn many, many more things. Most of these settings can also be activated with the console commands. What everything does is written here. I leave it to you. Now, you may be wondering why the background is blue. That is because I've been doing some advanced tweaking with the graphics configuration override file. Some of you advanced tweakers out there may have already heard about this file. It's basically a way of overriding the graphics configuration XML that's included in the game install location. And I have created a GUI, GUI that is, graphical user interface for actually manipulating some of the values. So I think the reason why this is blue is because I set this these two to some funny funny values. Now you can right click on each one and detect what it actually is. So if I change it now but then go to detect it tells me what it is. Um, if it's green it means it's identical to the Elite's default values for that setting so we can also change settings. So if you say to go to low um, and then and then go to say set the default that will tell you what the default is for low. Um, and then if you click apply it will apply it to low only. Um, that's how it works. You can also disable particular code chunks so when you click apply nothing of that changes. You can do detect all, you can do default all, not sure why that's not changing. What it does is actually if you open up the graphics configuration override folder or the graphics folder it's making this file here and putting in your settings and changing your settings. Um, it will, if you've already got your own settings here like for example I do, I always put the GUI colors here, that's what my tool does, it will not override those. Um, it will always keep what you have, uh, anything else you've got there it will keep, it will never override it so don't you worry about that. Um, it will create a backup anyway of the last working backup as well as an original so you can always revert to original with the resets button over here and it will also create a per profile version so this is VR Planets Python um, which is the currently selected profile so now whenever I click apply or click apply here because if that's ticked then it will also apply um, the particular setting associated with that profile it will then copy that to that very simple Advanced tweakers, I really hope this is helpful to you. You can submit more useful settings. These are not all the settings available. So please submit some other useful ones that you like to fiddle with and I will try to include them over time. If you want to download ED Profiler, you just you go over here and this is going to be in the description of course. You click on this, then you click on download which takes you to here, you install. Um, Windows Smart Screen might kick up a fuss, your uh, antivirus might kick up a fuss, but just click through because this is not a virus, this is a very, very cool tool. And if you wish to encourage me, you can click the donate button, always useful, and uh, it will really, really motivate me. It's 100% free, so do not feel any pressure or obligation to donate, but do feel pressure to get in touch with me and give me feedback. Tell me that you love it, tell me that you hate it, tell me that you've gone from being depressed to being happy. Whatever it is, everything is motivation. I listen to all feedback, I listen to all requests, and I fix all bugs, so please report bugs as well. That's CD Profiler 3.2. There's going to be some more videos that could probably go into more detail about these two. But in the meantime, enjoy your tweaking and so long humans.